Hi guys, look, most of us know that Joe Biden has to go. He needs to be replaced by another Democrat as he is mentally failing and his lead in the polls over Donald Trump took a massive hit during the last debate. Pressure has been applied to the president to step aside from both Democrats in Congress and supporters. Big donors to the party have called on him to consider his position and recent polling puts the vice president Kamala Harris ahead of Agent Orange. But what was Beth Rigby of Sky News expecting Keir Starmer to say about this when she asked him about Biden in their recent interview? Prime Minister, hello. And how does it feel to be called that by the President of the United States? It felt very good. We were able to affirm the special relationship which has existed a long time between our countries, forged in difficult circumstances and as important today as it's ever been. There's been lots of concern about the pr president's cognitive ability, claims that he could be uh, becoming senile. Do you think that is misguided, given that you have spent time personally with him? I spent time with him yesterday. We were billed for a 45-minute bilateral. It was the best part of an hour by the time we'd finished. We covered a lot of ground, strategic ground, stuff that I particularly wanted to raise. We did it at pace. He was on good form. And um, I was very uh, pleased that we were able to cover that amount of So you of think ground. that criticism is misguided? Well, he was on good form with me and we were covering so it's really misguided. important. Yes. God, this type of interviewing technique, I, I really don't understand it. Now, Kirstammer is not going to say he was falling apart. He was forgetting himself. He was forgetting my name. He was forgetting this, that, and the other. He didn't know where he was. He's not going to say these things, even if they happened. We don't know what happened. We may never know what happened, you know, in their meeting, because it was private. But he's a diplomat. Keir Starmer is a diplomat. He has to maintain a level of diplomacy. So he's not going to say what really happened in the meeting. He's been diplomatic by saying, look, he was in good form. He was on good form or whatever. That's what he's going to say. You're not going to get him to say something different. What's the point in asking these questions? I, look, I'm not suggesting that you don't hold politicians to account or you don't ask them challenging questions. But at no stage is any politician who's been dealing, you know, a leader of a government is going to be going to the US to deal with Joe Biden. Are they going to come out and say he was falling apart mentally or he forgot stuff or whatever? They're not going to say that. So stop asking these stupid questions. And what was it with this sort of weird question at the beginning? How does it feel to be called prime minister by Joe Biden? Look, it's great that the, the Tories are gone. It's great that Keir Starmer is now prime minister. But cut this crap, please. It's embarrassing. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.